bring me up a bit here. Oh, oh, not that bright, bitch. What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam. I have a lot of plants, and that's what we talk about here. We were growing inside and outside, but it's cold outside now. So we're gonna grow inside for a while. So today we're gonna be potting up and meeting my new plants that I picked up in the last month. I was on a bit of a plant pause over the summer. You know, not like, uh, I mean, if I really, really wanted one and I had the money, like it would be fine to buy it. But overall, I was just, Overall, I was just not putting myself in the position to spend a bunch of money on plants because I bought a ton of plants at the beginning of the year, so, you know. So I did pick up a couple of plants this week, but that's for another video. So we're gonna exclude those for now and just focus on the ones that I picked up in September. So let's get going. So I put in my first order with Pepper Greenhouses and I knew that they took a long time to ship and they don't really charge you until they ship and that's sometimes like two weeks. Where's everybody going? Sometimes that's like two weeks and I read on the website that sometimes that can be like three months. So, you know, you just, you kind of take your gamble, but you know, it worked out okay for me. So one thing I did notice with these plants is they came in some cheap ass soil. It has styrofoam in it, which means I can't compost this, which is frustrating. I have my trusty dollar store mess tote here. This is where I deposit any and all mess because as you can see, we're in my bedroom and uh, someday I'm going to have a nice filming studio, but uh, that day isn't today. So. so shout out to the viewer who tipped me off on finding one of these. This is labeled a silver moonshine philodendron. It looks an awful lot like a philodendron silver sword to me. Um, so I went ahead and picked this up. Roots look very healthy, so a little dry, if anything. I'm gonna leave some of the soil on there so that I'm not shocking the plant too much. So because I'm a basic ass, I have terracotta pots for everything. That's just kind of how I roll. Um, if I ever move, uh, shit's gonna be really heavy. And if you have to help me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm using my regular soil mix, which is just the green tree potting soil. And that has a mix of cocoa and peat moss, as well as perlite. And then I've added in an orchid mix, which also had perlite in it. It has orchid bark in it and charcoal, which I actually added a little bit of extra perlite and a little bit more of the charcoal. I, I just, I like a chunky mix, you know what I'm saying? I like just finished getting all the dirt out of my nails from the last time that I potted something. And I'm guessing that's gonna be a whole thing again. <laughs> So the reason, if you don't know, that I add so much stuff to my soil, if you make a nice chunky mix, there's more room for air in your soil, basically, instead of compacting it down really tight, like it would be if it was just peat or sand or something like that. Okay, next up. Well, I think this is a very Halloween-esque philodendron. This is a Bloody Mary philodendron. It is a hybrid. And look at those stems. They are literally blood red. Mm -hmm. And then the abaxial side of the leaf is a different color than the adaxial side of the leaf is pretty cool. I kind of fell in love with it when I saw it. And this is definitely in some disgusting soil. So this needs to come out. There's no perlite in here. I don't see anything except like mud. Well, the roots look pretty healthy. They also have a red tinge to them, which is pretty cool. Oh, oh there's one piece of perlite in here. See? <laughs> oh, good. You ever feel like some beetle juice is about to come out of a plant soil? Because that's what I'm feeling like right now. Ugh, gross. So these roots are pretty tender, so I'm not gonna go too hard removing this nasty soil. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> the next plant that I picked up is uh, less Halloween themed than the first two, perhaps. It is the Philodendron Burl Marks. Let's get it into some good soil. That didn't feel good. Okay, I would have thought it would have had more roots than that, but okay. 
So now that soil had a lot of perlite in it and some charcoal. So it's interesting how different the soils are. They must, maybe they, ooh, it smells terrible though. Three pea new philodendrons. Okay, now here's another plant that I have not shown you guys yet that I picked up last month. A lot of you saw my Little Prince unboxing and it turns out um, so did Little Prince. Now I always tag plant companies when I do unboxing. Um, most of the time they do not get back to me, they don't care, like it's whatever. So Joan herself uh, from Little Prince reached out to me, told me that she loved the unboxing video, that she had everybody at Little Prince watch it, which like, whoa um and that she wanted to send me a plant as a thank you and i kind of was like oh you know you don't need to do that like that's fine but then i was like um girl let people be nice to you and send you a free plant so i took her up on the offer uh we're saying yes to the universe this year kids especially if it involves free plants super thank you joan this was so sweet and this is of course a frizzle sizzle look at this guy it's the coolest thing, and I think I might be killing it already. Um, it's definitely having a rough transition to my home. Um, I found a little worm in it when it first got here. He was as surprised as I was, but we freed him to probably die in the cold. So this thing grows out of this weird, oh, it's rotting. Okay, so this guy is definitely bumming out. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to save it. So if anybody has any experience with these, I think I'm gonna leave this thing out of the dirt and see if that helps because I've seen a few of them like that. And it's definitely lost a lot of its spirals since I got it. Um, they're just turning brown and falling off. I have it in a south window getting a good amount of light. So I'm not too sure what's going on. I mean, the roots look okay, so I think we'll be fine. So I'm just gonna try to keep this little part out of the dirt because that seems to be what's like having some trouble right now. So I'm hoping that will help it dry out a bit. And hopefully I won't lose it because that would be a real bummer. I told Joan I would name this after her. So it would be a shame if I named it after her and then killed it. Hopefully this helps this guy out. Uh, we still got lots of little frizzles. So, um, you know, plenty of time before it's dead all the way, right? <laughs> okay, great. Okay, friends, I am losing daylight, but we got everything potted. So that's what I got in September. I hope you enjoyed this little plant haul and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.